This brief video will show you how to enter information in a case for a patient. First thing you need to start off is lists and then patients, guarantors, and cases. Today we'll fill in the information for Hiro Tanaka. To make it quick and easy, I'll just type a T for the last name, and because we've created a chart number uh, based on Tanaka's last name, it comes up quickly. You'll notice that it's highlighted here, and note to the right-hand side there is no case currently. Now remember, to access the case, we need to make sure that there is a dot in the radio button up here for case. You'll see that the button changes from patient information to case information. So I'll click on New Case now, and a new window will open up with 11 tabs. We're going to work through these sequentially, starting on the left-hand side front, working our way to the right, and then going to the second row. So we're going to start here with Personal. And under Personal, uh, the, one of the main things we'll fill in is what is the reason that Hiro Tanaka is here today to see us. Now if you want to follow along with the instructions, you'll find these in your book, Chapter 5, page 253, Exercise 5.6. So I will uh, use the um, source document at the back of the book on page 674 to fill in any details that I might need, and in this case Hiro Tanaka is here for back pain from an accident. So I'm going to type it in as they have it on the um, uh, in, uh, patient information form. So accident back pain, the, again, the description is why are they here to see us today. A couple of other points we'll fill in here. Uh, please be very careful, do not put any information in global coverage until. If you happen to explore it and want to see what it is, it will automatically put in a date for you, and you'll want to erase that. Make sure that there's no, nothing in that box. You'll notice that Hiro Tanaka is filled in. We do note her, her marital status as single, so I can capture that. I don't know her student status. Her employer is McCray Manufacturing. And I believe her status is full time. I'm not sure. I think I think that's what it is. Um, yes, it is based on her source document. So the first tab is done. If you remember from um, other discussions we've had, you can click on the save button, but the moment you do, you exit out of this window. So I'm going to continue working through my tabs quickly here so that I can get everything filled in. So I'm going to move to the second tab called account. When I go to account, it asks for the assigned provider for Hiro Tanaka and if there was a referring provider. You can check your um, patient information form on page 674 and you will see that there was a Dr. Bertram Brown. So I'm going to capture that. The rest of this information we don't need to fill in. So that second tab is done. Moving on to the third tab, we don't know her diagnosis yet, but we do know that she has allergies. If, again, if you look at her source document on page 674, she's allergic to penicillin. So I'm just going to get in the habit, and I like them all capitalized, so it captures my eye. So I'm going to type in under allergies and note she has an allergy to penicillin. That tab is done. We can come back later and capture the diagnosis after she's been seen by the physician. Moving on to the Policy 1 tab, this is her insurance information. Again, using that source document at the back of the book, I can see that her insurance plan is Ohio Care HMO. I'll select it. She is the policyholder. The relationship to the insured is self. And I'm going to capture the policy number. It is listed on the uh, patient information form as insured ID number. So let me type that in quickly here and there is also a group number. Group numbers refer to if this insurance plan was through her employer. So that indicates that her her insurance is picked up by her employer. And I believe in the exercise they do tell us to enter a, a policy date for the start date for it. Uh, to confirm that you can see that information will be found on page 258 in your book, exercise 5.8 
and they do want us to key in January the 1st of 2016. Uh, there is no end date, so we're not going to fill that in. We will put a check mark in the um, accept assignment of benefits accept assignment. Uh, remember, every time you put in a future date, the software will prompt you with, are you sure this is accurate? So I know it is. No, I don't want to change it. Now I'll go click in my ex assignment of benefits, accept assignment. She has a copay of $20 based on the insurance plan, as well as they ask us to change all of her insurance percentage coverages to 100%. These are for outside lab visits, perhaps physical therapy visits. This indicates to us and to other facilities that her insurance plan will cover those, those items. Okay, that takes care of policy one. She has no second or third insurance policy plan, so that first row is done. There is one last tab that we need to fill in, and that is the condition tab. The condition tab um, covers information that an insurance plan might ask us for that we had nowhere else to capture, particularly dates. Some insurance plans can refuse or will refuse payment if we don't have this information. So Metasoft provides us with another location to capture it. So they want to know the date that she was injured. Uh, injury illness or LMP stands for last menstrual period and that information you can capture from page 675 in the back of your book which were notes that the doctor made uh, about Hiro Tanaka. So her accident occurred on 9-25-2016. And uh, under illness indicator will indicate that it was an injury. And the first day that she came in to see us was October the 3rd, 2016. Um, again, there's our confirmation. Are you sure? Do you want to change this? No, I don't. Um, accident related to we're going to choose auto because it was a car accident and it occurred in the state of Ohio so I'm going to put the abbreviations for Ohio in it. If you read the description in the exercise 5.10 on page 266 and 267 it explains that she was in an accident while she was driving home from a softball game. So under nature of we're going to, going to choose injured during recreation. Then we're going to fill in the rest of these box under unable to work in the disabilities. Again, based on page 675 in your book pertaining to what happened to Hiro Tanaka. So she was unable to work, uh, you will see, from 925 until 103. She had total disability uh, from 925 to 926 of 2016. Uh, she had partial disability uh, from 9:25. I'm sorry, 9:27 until 10:3. So we'll capture all these. And finally, uh, she was hospitalized also from 9:25 to 9:26. Now I must go also up here. Uh, there were no similar symptoms or employment related but this was an emergency. I believe they give you that information when you fill out, uh, follow it through on page 266 and 267. That captures a new case for Hiro Tanaka. All we need to do now is come on over here and save it. Give it just a moment and there you see it. There is a new case now for Hiro Tanaka.